Last week, we were able to improve the very popular inverse fair value gap strategy and made it go from a 50% win rate with a 3.5k in profit to a 75% win rate with a return of 6k. And I even gave away a free tool to improve any strategy's win rate. This tool is still available, so if you didn't get yours, go grab it in last week's video. Well, today, I saw a trade which respected or updated strategy, so I wanted to cover it for a trade of the week. So this happened actually just today. So I was looking at the chart and I saw this happen. But since this is not my main strategy, I didn't execute it on it. So what I'm seeing here is that we're coming down very, very fast. So if you want to take a look at what happened right before the trading session. Overall, the London session, not much happened. We're very consolidating. Then we went right up, took some liquidity, and we're starting to go back down. So if we go back on the lower time frames, we can see that we went and stopped at that point. So that was very interesting since what do we have at that point? We have a fair value gap and we also have all of this liquidity. And if you want all of the steps for this specific strategy, it was presented in details in last week's video. And once we stop right there, we can just wait for a reaction. And now that we have the fair value gap formed, we can just write it. So this is our inverse fair value gap. So I'm going to reduce that. This is the, our inverse fair value gap, which we want to use for execution. And if you remember from last week, we also get our V-shape formation. So all I need to wait for now is a close above our fair value gap, which we got right there. So we can just enter here, put our stop loss at the low of the inverse fair value gap. And then one obvious level would be this high right there for a 1 to 2.4. However, if you saw the video, we optimize the strategy. And one of the best ways to take profit for this specific strategy, at least based on our own data, was to take 50% of profit when we reach a 2R and then take the rest out of 4R. And this is the power of data science. Because I had all of this data, I was able to optimize my strategy and this is how we're able to increase the win rate and the return also. This is the same strategy. This is the same analysis. You're just making more out of the work you already done. And this is only possible with data science. So this is the final take profit. This is a one to four. And I'm going to also write, so this is our final TP. And I'm also going to write where I'm going to take some partials. So I need to know where is the one to two. So the one to two is right there. And this is why I'm going break even with 50% partials. Let's just see how this one goes. By the way, with everything going on with prof firms, a lot of them closing down, I think you should definitely add Darwin X to your portfolio. They allow us to build a track record and attract investors. And they just released a new feature, the permanent allocation. You can choose different price targets at different price points. And once you reach it, you get the permanent allocation. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave the link in the description and you can use this code for 20% of their services. So right away, we can just take half of our profit at that point and then go break even. So now we're at break even. And then we want to take profit. However, you can see that price went even deeper until uh, 1 to 5.5. So this is something that's very important and I would need to add to my sheet that I provided in the last week's video. Let's see if we go even farther. And no, finally, we went to stop loss. Most people would have taken profit at the 1 to 2.4 or even take most of their profits at that point. But because I have all of this data behind me, I'm confident to hold on my trades. And this can only be possible once you have a lot of data and you have the skill to journal it. And if you want all the details about this specific strategy, you can just click on this video right there. See you in the next one.